Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm LaPrentice Demond, and in today's video, we are going to do a review on Perfect Hydration Alkaline Water. I believe this is one that people have been requesting, right? Um, and I, this is one that I had to order online, but let's go ahead and get it poured up. I like the bottle, it's nice and tall. And we are going to be comparing it to someone. We're going to be comparing it to this uh, water here. This is known as electrolyzed reduced water. All right. So the very first thing we're testing for is antioxidants. And this is the most important test that we're going to be conducting here today with perfect hydration. And the reason why is because we want to consume antioxidants. These are your fruits, your vegetables, your vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. They come in and give extra electrons to our cells that are actually missing them, right? And they become missing through these things known as free radicals. And they take everything. They start taking all the electrons from our cells and this creates oxidation and inflammation. And those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man, okay? So antioxidants are vital and Guess what? We don't have to just get them from our food, we get them from our water as well. So, if we put this wand in the water, <laughs> in our beverages, um, this is gonna let us know if it's positive, we charge that it's oxidizing us, okay? So we see a positive number, it means it's oxidizing us, creating more rust and dis-ease in the body. However, if we see a negative number, that means it's an antioxidant, okay? So once again, negative is good, positive is bad. Well, let's see what we get here when it comes to perfect hydration water. All right, so this is looking positive. It is showing a 140, okay? So this is oxidizing us, okay? It's creating more harm in the body and it's going up. And that's because even the air around us is oxidizing. Let's go ahead and see how electrolyzed reduced water does. And look at that, we are getting a negative number immediately. We're getting a negative 720 and it's steadily going down. So this is a very strong antioxidant rich water. And this is what you wanna consume if you want to maintain great health okay all right so now that we did that we pretty much can say that this isn't helping us okay but we have a couple more tests that we want to see that i know you're going to be excited about next let's check them out Alrighty, on to our second test this one is all about alkalinity okay now if you're watching this video you obviously already know about ph and how important it is okay so with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and add in these pH drops. If we see a red, or orange, or yellow, we know that's acidic, and it's actually in the minerals that's in our body. However, if we see a blue, or purple, or dark purple, we know that's alkaline, and it's great for our health. Pretty sure with this tote 9.5, uh, we're gonna see alkaline looking water. And if so, I wanna test it, okay? And so I'm gonna use this straw here and put my stink breath in it and see if it's truly alkaline, if it actually holds that alkalinity or if it's just pretending. And it so, it's probably gonna turn acidic or it's gonna show its true pH, okay? But let's see what we get. Oh, really quick, before I get started with the pH test, I wanna share with you my go-to water. You're probably thinking like, okay, you do these tests, which one is your, your go-to? It's actually this electrolyzed reduced water right here. So to learn more about it, simply um, check out the description beneath this video, click that link and it's gonna take you to my free masterclass. It's gonna break down why, what makes this water so special, how you can have it in the comfort of your home and save thousands of dollars in the process as you work towards having better and improved health. Check that out. All right, let's see what we get. Alrighty, so surprise, surprise, <laughs> this is a 9.5, right? 
Uh, they both look the same. So we're gonna go ahead and test it. Like I was sharing before, we're gonna blow into it and see if we get, see if it's actually able to hold the alkalinity from the acidity that I'm giving it, okay? We'll see how it does. Wow. All right. There you go. <laughs> there is the truth. Okay. And so on here, it says, it shows different pHs. So it says perfect hydration, 9.5. Most bottled water is 7. This is like most bottled waters and it's really like a 6 on the pH scale, right? 6, 5. Let me know in the comments. Showing pH to a soda, for soda, pH of 2. Um, and... What are the ingredients to this? Here's the thing. Most bottled alkaline waters, they come with ingredients, okay? And that's not a good sign if you have to add ingredients to your water. Your water naturally has everything in it. So this is purified water. Anytime it's a purified water, this is what you're getting. And the reason why is because they're ripping everything out of it to clean it, to sterilize it. And now they're adding in minerals to make it chemically alkaline, which is not great for the body. You wanna look up something? Look up alkalosis, okay? Look up how that happens, and then you'll see why bottled, bottled alkaline waters are not that great. So, and then they added in the electrolytes. Potassium bicarbonate, more potassium bicarbonate, and then magnesium sulfate, okay? Potassium bicarbonate, magnesium sulfate, and that's how that's essentially how you make your own alkaline water. You just buy these at the store, you can make your own alkaline water. You don't have to pay whatever you're paying for this right here, okay? Um, but we do have another wire to test here and this one could possibly do the same thing. So let's test it out and see. All right, it's not changing, okay? And the reason why is because there's no chemicals added to this. This is changed electrically, very different. We aren't adding anything to this water. Your water already has your electrolytes in it. It already has potassium. It already has magnesium. It already has all of your sodiums and, and all your electrolytes in it. So you don't have to add anything to it to make it appear off a lot, okay? Let's keep that in mind. So there you have it. There is a second test on alkalinity. We're gonna go ahead and do one more test with perfect hydration. All right, on to our third and final test. This one I like to call superior hydration. And the reason why is because we want to get hydrated. We deserve to get hydrated at a cellular level. And with this being called perfect hydration, we're gonna see if it actually does it. And the best way to do this is by making tea, okay? So just imagine for me a chain link fence. If we took a beach ball and hurled it at that fence, it's more than likely coming back to us, right? However, if we take BBs, little marbles, and throw them at that same chain link fence, they're gonna go right through. And that's how our water should be. Our water should actually be small enough to pass through that chain link fence, which is actually the phospholipid bilayer. I know that sounds crazy of our cells and actually bring in the water and the nutrients that our cell needs to give it that energy, okay? So we're gonna do this with tea. This is a great example, okay? And if our water is small enough, it's gonna actually be able to pass through the tea bag and make tea. Okay, so let's see if Perfect Hydration lives up to its name and is actually able to make tea with this water. Oh boy, maybe, we'll see. Okay, we're getting something. 
we are getting something. We're getting some tea. Look at that. Interesting. So yeah, it looks like we're getting some tea. We're do doing a little jumping up and down. We've got a little tea going here. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with this electrolyzed reduced water to see what we get. Look at this. Also does it, but I don't know if it's me, but this looks darker, right? <laughs> so if this is perfect hydration, it should be the same same uh, shape, is that the right word? <laughs> that as as this here, but this doesn't look as good. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's not the same same shade. This is looks like a stronger, more bolder tea, right? All right, so they both hydrate. All right, one looks a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna give this. I'm gonna put this in both, and we're gonna give it five dunks and see if that changes anything. Okay. Because if you want to get hydrated, you want to get hydrated right now. You don't want to have to jump on a trampoline to get hydrated. You don't want to wait 30 minutes. You don't want to treat it like a video game have to be loading into hydration. You want it to happen immediately, okay? So let's go ahead with this one first. Five dunks, let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's, yeah, it looks about the same as it did before. We'll see what happens here. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. This looks this looks darker to me. <laughs> is it just me? Let me know in the comments. I'm telling you right now. I don't think this is hydrating enough. I think this is maybe doing maybe 20%. And think about it. If you're taking supplements, if you're taking proteins, if you're taking um, BCAAs, any type that type of stuff, you want it to enter your body. You want it to get into your bloodstream and all that stuff much quicker. Okay, you don't want to have to wait for it to happen. You want it to work instantly, especially if you're doing recovery. This water just doesn't look as hydrating. Were it to be called perfect hydration, uh, it doesn't doesn't look too perfect to me. All right, so there you have it. Actually, uh, let me see. Look at that, <laughs> like this is darker because this is actually a smaller water, it's able to hit the T more and actually hydrate you much better. All right, so we did a review on perfect hydration alkaline water and we saw the first thing, which was that it's oxidizing. When we tested it for antioxidants, we saw it's oxidizing. And then on our second test, we tested for alkalinity. And while it appeared alkaline, when we actually gave it a test, it actually showed up to look how it looks right now, which is acidic, okay? And that's because it is chemically made. And if you look around, alkaline bottled waters don't have any health benefits. In fact, they can lead to alkalosis if you drink too much of it, so be careful. Last but not least, we tested for superior hydration. And with a bottle named Perfect Hydration, you would expect it to do a lot better, but it's actually not hydrating that much compared to this electrolyzed reduced water. So there you have it. There's a review on perfect hydration. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, click that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you're curious about my go-to water, which is this right here, feel free to check out what I have coming up for you right now. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little something about the wires that we tested here today. Please take a moment to share this video with someone you care about who is also drinking this water. Finally, if you are serious about improving your health and the waters that you drink, click the link in the description below to access my Water Wellness Masterclass. In this masterclass, you will discover the truth about the waters we drink, the effects our water has on our health, and how you can have the world's best water in the comfort of your home and save thousands of dollars as a result. All right, go ahead, click that link in the description below, access that masterclass, and I will see you there real soon.